Hey guys, it's Eric. Today, I quickly want to go over how to edit on an iPhone. We use the iMovie app that comes with every recent version of the iPhone. You can use AirDrop to send videos from one iPhone to another. Every iPhone or Apple device, whether it's an iPad, an iPhone, or a laptop, has Wi-Fi that can communicate with any other device. To AirDrop, slide up on the screen, make sure that your AirDrop is set to contacts or everyone, then select the file in your media, then share, and the person's name will appear in the AirDrop section. If you want the ability to adjust the slow motion once you AirDrop a clip to someone else, you'll need to pinch the slow motion editors together. If you don't do this, you won't be able to edit it once you AirDrop the clip. Once you accept an incoming AirDrop, it will save to your media folder. Now let's get started with the editing. To get started, open the iMovie app and press the plus icon to create a new project. You can press the film strip to start a new project and then create in the top right corner to bring you to your project timeline. We're going to first import a clip with no slow motion. To get started, click on the film strip with the music note and from there you can add all media or recently added which I like to use if I'm editing clips from that day. Once you add a clip, simply touch it and you'll be able to edit, adjust the speed, adjust the volume, add text, or add a filter. We're only gonna go over editing and adjusting the speed as the volume, text, and filters are all self-explanatory. As you're adding clips, you can preview them first by pressing the play button, and then once you're sure it's the right clip, you can press the down arrow to import the clip into your project. Once you've imported the clip, you'll most likely need to adjust the in or the out points. There's two ways to do this. First, you simply click the video, making sure that the scissors are selected, and then simply grab the beginning or the end of the video, adjusting to the desired point. Second, select the clip, again making sure the scissors are selected, move the timeline to the place where you desire to cut it, and then press split and delete the part of the video that you no longer wish to use. Now let's import a video with slow motion. Simply import the video, press the speed dial, and on the bottom of the clip, you'll see a yellow bar. You can drag that bar wherever you wish the slow motion to start and stop, and then adjust the speed towards the tortoise for slow and the hare for fast. Once all your videos are edited to the correct in and out points, and you've adjusted them to the correct speeds, you can check the length of the video by scrolling to the end where it will tell you how long the video is. For Instagram, it needs to be 15 seconds. Once your video is ready to export, simply press done on the top left, and then you'll see a box with an up arrow at the bottom. Click that and you'll be given the option to save the video. You'll be given the option to select your resolution. I usually use the highest quality resolution for the best result once I post. Once you've exported and saved the video, go to your photos or your media folder, click play it to make sure that it's saved correctly and you're good to go. Thanks and have fun editing.